So a topic that always seems to rear its head on social media, whether it's TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, is whether a woman, well, first of all, body count, <laughs> absolutely. But whether a woman should have a 304 phase, should she get it out the way? Does that make her less than a woman? How does it affect her pair bonding? How does it affect her experience? How does it affect her in interpersonal relationships, dealing with men or lack thereof? Is it something that they should have? I'm gonna play a clip real quick and then I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on it and then I wanna hear you guys' thoughts on this as well. So let's go. Should women have this phase before marriage? 99.9% .9 of people should explore their whole phase. There's healing in the hoeing. We talk about that in the book. We even had worship. Heal first, hoe later. I didn't have an adult whole phase. I had a child so young, and then I got married. College was my whole phase. But they said there is healing in the hoeing. What? That is so backwards, okay? Being with multiple people, knowing that they are not at all what you need for your future. Knowing that they are not going to be beneficial to you, knowing that they're no good, they're trash, they're not going to be a good leader for you or a good husband, but still sleep with them anyway, is helpful for you in healing. Y'all, that's so backwards. <laughs> it's very backwards. You don't have to touch like the stove or the fire to know that you're going to get hurt. This idea that uh, women needed to have a hoe phase, right? Yeah. Not my words. I said yeah. party years in my my book, but it's the hoe phase where it's like you're going to go and explore your options and have your journey of self discovery, and then right around 29 years old, 30, 31, that's what I peg as the epiphany phase, and that's when women want to get right with God, and that's when they want to like settle down and they want to have you know uh, two two point five kids and a golden retriever in the yard, and that's when you'll hear women say, "We're all the good guys. We're all the nice guys," but they were left back in your 20s when you didn't want to sort of put a bet on a guy who had some potential and now yeah. you're kind of out at 33 34 um as far as your selection is concerned meanwhile men at about 30 are on their ascent to their sexual market value peak because it takes longer for a man to achieve the things that makes him maximally attractive and maximally arousing so the guy might have if he's played his cards right and he's maximized his potential by the time he gets to about 36 years old that's when he is the at his peak sexual market value and has if he's done every done everything right you know money muscles and game he has the same selection or if not better selection than the girl who's 23 years old who was on top of her game is that rollo guys i don't watch rollo i might have seen a clip he looks like rollo tomasi sure that's not rollo maybe it is i don't know anyway he had some good information there i always have a controversial opinion on this based off of my experience definitely women obviously they reached this danger zone that he was speaking of right there 29 years old some of them are still out playing a lot of women are still playing up until they're 40 some women don't want to get married but in your 20s ladies and this is why people tend to say you should date an older man that's established which is what he was just talking about a man that's maybe in his mid 30s to late 30s early 40s marrying a woman in the 20s because a lot of times unless you just come across a guy who comes from a wealthy family guys in their 20s still don't know what they want to do haven't really achieved that level of success acquired assets and things like that and they're still playing the field so the men that you may be or think you're attracted to just aren't really there yet so you have to look at dating up or age gap dating or getting married to maybe an older man that may be established now what i say about this whole phase right which is what she got into <laughs> that first clip talking about healing hoeing to heal a lot of women think they can do that when their heart gets broken or that they're trying to figure things out i talk about this personally in my book of someone who said that that's what they did when they broke up they tried to heal by getting under several different men uh, close to 100 and it didn't work out some women get married early and they don't realize that the guy that they're with especially if he's around the same age in their early 20s as well may not be the guy that they want to stick around with and that could be to social media that could be the outside entities that could be due to television but let's get on to some more clips let's go As a there's another study both in contrary to your study mm -hmm. that people who have had a hoe phase and have explored themselves sexually and have satisfied that part of them are less likely to have infidelity in their relationships. Oh, that's cap. I don't believe that. That's, uh, I need, I, yeah, I need to see like that. Sounds like a personal problem. Yeah, I need to see that, Ethel. I need to see that, Ethel. I have heard that before, too. I need to yeah. see that, Ethel. Yeah, yeah, I can't co-sign you know I mean? that. I feel like you should get the hoe phase out first. Yeah. I think you shouldn't. 
You don't think so? So you, you just want a pure girl? What? Like, I'm, you, from Virgin Mary just yeah, dropped onto you your lap? You think the sex going to be good? Because think <laughs> yeah, about it, though. Yeah, don't you want to? Like, she needs some experience. How is she going to learn? Like, me, personally, I'm going to go with a higher number. And the only reason I go with the higher number is because... She already had experience, so now she's not curious to leave me. Now, if you got a girl that got three bodies, she she's out. like, I would argue the hey. opposite. I would she's argue, all, but but the thing is, she's already okay. Yeah, she's sense. with you for five years. She love it. Then she go see. Even thinking of Michael B. Jordan, she's like, oh, how would it be I if would I had argue, sex with him? I would like, argue she's not curious. She's curious because she's only had three bodies. I would argue that the more experience the woman has had the more likely she's going to be faithful. Going to be that and look elsewhere. Why? Why though? Because the more experience you have with, with certain men, right? You know, it's going to it's going to put your your dating standards in a certain in a certain level because women don't date down, they date up, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's just say she's been with a Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Well, it's going to be hard for her to go down at that point. What's so, down, she's what's, always going to be comparing her next guy to that level. Okay, so what are, the what are more, going to be the if you know more, if you know, if you see more, and you know more, all well, the likelihood of of her staying with you, it goes down drastically. So what that guy right there was referring to was hypergamy, right? Is what he's getting at. And in that case, if that's the the path that she's on, then oh well. But in terms of body count and a woman that's experienced, I'm not saying she needs to go out because we always talk about this magic number of three. She needs to be going out in the pound town every other day or every other weekend till she's just basically smutted out and rode the carousel for X amount of years. At the end of the day, you'll never know, guys. We talk about this whole pair bonding thing. You'll never know. And unless you know this woman personally and you grew up with her and you've seen her and you just decided to get with her, knowing that she slept with the whole football team, basketball team, whatever, that's different. But a woman, which I like what a buddy was saying, two of the dudes on the earlier clips, the guys who were on the left side of the screen, if I'll put it that way, they were like, yo, as I said before, you get married early or you only been with one guy. As time goes on, people like women like newness just as well as a lot of men like newness. The same points of reference, you guys, even though men and women are fundamentally different, you could be always wanting different woman does that mean that you and i'm not taking up for women at all are men able to pair bond as well for lack of a better term when it comes to this stuff you could have a whole bunch of buns and i always tell men it's not gonna bring you peace be single if that's the case a lot of guys hearts have been broken because the woman didn't get to experience life didn't have that phase to get it out the way and i'm not endorsing this at all i'm just telling you guys what happened she's curious and sharks whoever friends whatever and she may end up doing something and may end up lacking it because all she knew was you this is the world we're in now this isn't the 1800s where there's not mass media out you can just open your phone and see things so guys i'm just being honest just keeping it funky with you guys let me know what you guys think i'm not endorsing it but i'm just telling you what happens because women do come across something new something different and you're looking crazy because you're like oh i already had I know tons of guys that have gotten left because she wanted to try something new. And it didn't always boil down to it being hypergamy. And the guy being richer or wealthier or having better status is just something that she was attracted to. That gave her that feeling. That made her feel electric. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours. Truly purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. This is your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cent. 50. Part two. I'm going to bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK. Uh.